Hey YouTube, it's Berlog Awesome, and now that Machine 21 is over, I'll be filming weekly tutorials again. So this isn't going to be a traditional tutorial where I stand in front of the table and teach you how to make an idea. Today, instead of making ideas, we'll be connecting them. And now we'll start off with the most common one of them all, the weight and string. Now how it works is the idea that's just finishing hits the weight, and the weight is usually a domino. It hits the weight off of an edge, and the weight falls off, and that creates enough force to pull the string, and it's gonna pull whatever is attached to the string. Usually it's nothing in case of a ping pong ball or a bouncy ball, but sometimes there's something attached to the string, and whatever it is, it's gonna be pulled out, and that will let the next step happen. Now there are two things that are so beautiful and so useful about this weight and string technique. The first one is that this weight and string technique can be used anywhere and almost at any time. Think about it, no matter where you're building, there's always an edge that a uh, weight could fall off of. No matter if it's a table or a shoebox or even a machine wall, a weight could always fall off of it and pull something else. And number two is that it could connect a relatively light part of the machine to a relatively heavy part of the machine because very many things can be held by either a string or a popsicle stick and the string could be really easily pulled out. The second connecting technique is the release lever. And most builders will suggest you to use connects to build this, but I use three blocks of wood. One as the lever itself, one as the fulcrum, and one as a holding block to keep anything that's being released from moving until it has to. This technique is used in two situations. Number one, when you want to let go of something that it can only roll forward, it can't go from side to side like a ball can. And number two, when you want to let go of something really, really heavy, like a three pound weight or a soda bottle. Now how it works is whatever's being held by the lever is trying to move forward. But the lever can only be tipped up and down, it can't go forward. So what has to happen is that a heavy weight has to be on the side of the lever to pull it down and pull the other side up so that the heavy weight could roll forward. And very often this is used in combination with the weight and string technique. The third connector is dominoes and this is really self-explanatory. It's just dominoes tipping all the way forward. This is usually used on a low surface when you can't really connect anything with a string. Oftentimes something can't be pulled out, it can only be pushed and that's when you use dominoes in combination with either a small large set or a larger block that will also tip in the fashion of a domino. The last connecting technique is the pushing lever. And this is actually very similar to the release lever, except for one thing. In the release lever, the object that you're trying to release, it wants to go down already, it's already being acted on by gravity. However, in the pushing lever, it's not being acted on by gravity. The object that pushes the lever forces the thing forward and then when it's pushed forward it drops onto a ramp or something and that's when it keeps moving. What's interesting about this technique is there's no really good way to tell you how to use it. It's used whenever it's convenient. Like there are very many situations, they're all different from each other. You just have to figure it out as a builder to find when it's convenient to use that thing instead of domino and string or just dominoes or the release lever. But I'll leave you with one last note. Don't use the same connector too much. That is what makes a machine a little more boring. When you use too much of domino and string, or when you use too much of just dominoes falling in front of each other, or maybe even release levers, even though I haven't seen that yet, you have to vary your connectors. You can't just keep doing the same one. It keeps the machine interesting and it makes everything look like a complex idea and not just a sequence of domino and strings and balls rolling down tracks. So that's it for me today. I will continue doing tutorials every Wednesday now that Machine 21 is done. So I wish you guys good luck with all your building and if you like what you see, please subscribe. My next video will be a collaboration of more than 10 builders, so get excited for that. And thanks for watching.